Hi, this is Adam Sweet. Uh, today I want to show you some typical chords used on the octave mandolin. Now, um, because of the long string length and the large gap between the frets, you, it's very difficult to use closed chords, meaning one finger on each string. Uh, so the compromise is that one or two strings will be always open which is going to create more sustain and uh, that you can run into a little problem if you're doing anything with a microphone on stage or uh, in, a, in a recording studio. You'll have to let the engineer know that you're not fingering those strings. Um, but they stay, the, the chords generally start with the same fingers that you would use for the same chords on the mandolin or the mandola. Um, for example, the G major chord uh, starts with first finger on the second fret A string and second finger on the third fret E string. All right? Now the o two open strings are going to be the G and the D string. So they're, they're going to ring and create a lot of sustain. Now you might want that extra uh, sound, right? If you're playing Celtic music, it sounds great. Uh, if you're playing uh, certain kinds of Americana, like vocals, uh, it, it can also sound really good. Uh, if you're playing by yourself, it, it can sound, uh, it can be a very nice sound. Uh, so it just depends on what you're using the chords for. Uh, so the uh, C chord is also very similar to starting the C chord form on the mandolin. So for that, we're going to put our first finger on the uh, second fret D string and second finger on the third fret A string. So that's your C chord. Um, don't Try not to let the E ring. So you can do that by... Uh, leaning the side of your index finger against those two strings uh, and it will it will mute the E string, stop it from ringing. Uh, you can also just not hit the string with your pick. Just go, uh, go up to the A string and then stop. Now that takes some practice, but you can do it. <laughs> it's not hard. Um, like I always say, it takes adults about three months to learn a new habit. So for something like that, what you're going to do is move your pick down and stop it uh, after you play the, uh, uh, the A string. Okay? And it, that just takes practice. You just sit here and do this until you can do it successfully every time. So that's uh, G and C. D string, I have two D strings that I use, but I'll show you the most common one. You probably, you probably already know it. It's, it's the open two finger D string, uh, D chord uh, that you might use on the mandolin. So we're gonna put first finger on the second fret G string, and then third finger, or second finger if you can reach it, third finger on the second fret E string. The two open strings are going to be the D and the A. And remember, they're going to ring, so be prepared for that. Sounds nice, doesn't it? So that's our three main uh, chords often used in most Americana uh, and a lot of bluegrass. Now, you're probably not going to use the octave mandolin to play much bluegrass. Uh, it's more suitable to, uh, as I said, Celt Celtic music, um, but you are going to uh, uh, have it in your, uh, with your instruments, and why not? Why not bring it out when everybody's playing uh, some bluegrass tunes and try it? Just be prepared for that extra ring. All right, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm uh, online all the time. My links are below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon uh, so you're notified when I post something new. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.